The title of the message this morning is Honored to Serve. Now, this passage in Hebrews 5, verses 1 to 10, is contrasting two priesthoods. One is the Aaronic priesthood, or the priesthood under Aaron in the Old Testament. And the other one is the priesthood under Jesus Christ. Jesus is the great high priest. And what is interesting in New Testament scripture is that all of us as believers are kings and priests unto God. God the Father took Jesus through a process in order for him to qualify to become of a great high priest. It wasn't something just handed to him and saying, look, you're a great high priest now. No, he had to go through something in order to be the great high priest. And then drawing from that, I began to understand that if God the Father would take Jesus through this process in order for him to be our great high priest, then it only is right to say that he would take you and me through a similar process for us to fulfill our role as priests unto God. Each one of us sitting here has a call on our lives. And God will take us through a process to enable us, to qualify us, to fulfill that call. The first thing I just want to highlight before we get into understanding the process is in verse 4. And what the writer of Hebrews is saying is, nobody takes this honor to himself. You can't just call yourself a priest. I want you to understand. It is God who has honored you and me by calling us to be priests. It's an honor God has placed on your life. What God has placed on you is really an honor He has bestowed on your life. So don't take that lightly. While we are honored to serve, there is a process that's involved. And that's what we want to look at. I see five stages or five phases in this passage, in Hebrews 5, verses 1 through 10. So number one, chosen, Hebrews 5, 1. Every high priest is what? He's taken from among men. So taken from among men. He's selected from among men. He's chosen from the rest of the people. So you are chosen. Now, to be chosen by God doesn't mean God loves you more than somebody else. God is fair. He's, no, he's not partial. The invitation is available for every person. He calls everyone. But to those who say yes to the call, they become the chosen. The second thing we see here in this passage is called. So not only are we chosen, but we are also called. As a priest... Nobody could just say, I'll be a priest. No. You've got to be called by God. You're chosen. You're taken from among people. But you're also called by God. God invites you. The third thing we see here in this passage is appointed. Every high priest taken from among men is appointed for men. So God has appointed you or assigned you for men in things pertaining to God. It says, in things pertaining to God. That means there is a God connection in your appointments, in your assignment. In whatever you are doing here on earth, God wants to be involved. Number four, we are trained or equipped by God. So it's talking about Jesus. Jesus went through this process. And part of that was a learning. So if Jesus had to learn, that is, he had to be trained like this. My thought is, how about you and me? God would also take us through that training process. There was no shortcut for Jesus, no shortcut for you and me when it comes to being trained. And lastly, what we see in this process that Jesus went through, Hebrews 5 verse 9, it says, and having been perfected, 
he became the author of eternal salvation to all who obey him. So that word perfected just stood out. That means he's matured. He's brought to this place where the training has achieved its intended purpose. He's now that accomplished, fully qualified, well-trained person, having been perfected so that you and I can be like our teacher. So what are we saying today? We are saying that God has honored each one of us by giving us an opportunity to serve Him. It's an honor to serve God. Amen.